What do you need to know about septic and well? Is your home on a well or a septic system? Did you know that generally speaking, these are two seller paid items when selling your home? So let's first talk about those septic systems. You can have conventional, alternative, conventional with the pump, all kinds of different ones. And we usually do not worry about our septic system until something goes wrong. But buyers, they want to make sure they are buying a house that the septic system is in good working order before they close. So during the negotiation of the contract, when a buyer first presents an offer, the buyer actually chooses what type of septic inspection they would like to have performed by the seller. So in our area, the seller, they order the inspection and per the terms of our contract, it has to be completed no more than 30 days prior to closing of the home. The most common requested type of inspection that buyers want to ask the seller um, to do for a septic system is to pump the septic tank or tanks if there's more than one um, and do a visual inspection of all the tanks and the distribution box. So this um, is the most comprehensive inspection that is currently available by septic companies. And once the inspection is completed, if there are any problems at all with the septic system, then another negotiation happens as far as the repairs of that septic system. However, in most cases, the seller pays for all of the septic repairs. Another important thing to mention about septic inspections is it generally takes about two weeks from the time a company um, receives an order to actually come and do the inspection. So super important to order that early. Now let's talk about wells. Now if a buyer wants to do a full well inspection, they would actually have to complete that during the home inspection period and that would actually be at the buyer's cost and not the seller's cost. However, our contract does require that a well water test be completed 30 days prior to closing also. So what happens here is a certified professional will be sent to your home, they come out, they draw the water sample and then they take it or either mail it to an approved lab. And different loan types, they require different types of water tests. So for example, if the purchaser is buying your home using a VA loan, then a full panel water test would be required by the lender. And that tests for nitrates, coliform, lead, and bacteria. Whereas if the purchaser is using a conventional loan, they usually only require that a bacteria um, tests be ordered. It's also important to order this test in a timely manner as it does take a few days for the lab to process the results. Um, so make sure that you have an experienced agent on your side who knows which tests to order and also that they order them with enough time so it doesn't delay closing because we don't want that to happen. And it does take about that two week lead time from when a septic inspection is ordered to when the company can come out and complete it at your property. And also, like I said, depending on which type of water test is required, that can take upwards of a week for a lab to process um, that sample once it is received at their um, laboratory. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm Anita L. Williamson with James River Realty Group, and I want to set you up for selling success.